Yeah, let me, are the two brothers on yet? Brother uh, uh, T- Timothy and Brother Shakir, y'all on? Brother Timothy and Brother Shakir. What, brother, uh, brother Jay? Uh, I saw him making say. Uh, I took the Jack Cameron's phone because my phone, uh, I can hear everything, but it, it, uh, I must not press the buttons right. But I, I'm on oh, right shit. now. This is Brother Timothy. Okay, well, uh, but this is Brother Timothy. So where are you from, Brother Timothy, and why did you come to the program? I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, but I'm coming out of Atlanta, March number 15. And the program, um, the apprenticeship program was actually... Uh, brought up by the minister at 60 and then I talked to uh, Minister Rockman when I got back to 15 at uh, Dumar Prayer and that's when I decided that I was going to do the program because outside of Tennessee I have a mother that has land. She doesn't have as much land as you have but she has a little bit of land and that's where I can uh, do my experimentation uh, I guess afterwards uh, on vacation uh, but I think this is a great program sir I've learned a lot. So, so what have you learned? I've learned the bit, like, I learned things like how you have to network. Like, you know, earlier today, when I when I met that guy, this uh, was a guy, uh, Mr. Lewis. He, uh, he saw something in me, and that's why he told us to uh, go to the sun store. And, like, everybody else made a lot of sales. But I think I'm better at the marketing side. But the things I've been learning is, like, we learn how to do the flower and everything. But the thing I've learned is that, man, farming is, is, is harder work. Like, you see stuff on, on the on the aisle. You don't know. You just, I just, I'm just looking for a deal. But it's like, like you said in your book, you know, basically what you're doing is the exact opposite of what the devil did. The devil did, he came out to the country. I think a lot, my, I found out on my way up here that my family was in the farming before, like, my granddad was a civil engineer, uh, civil engineer, and he had a company, but they started out on the farm, and they, I don't even know why, why it's not spoken of, so I, he told me about the engineering and everything, but my daddy told me while I was on the way up here, but uh, basically what they did was they took people out of the farm and brought them into the city just to fool them, you know, it's a catch twenty two. like, yeah, you come out to the city, but you don't, you, what, well, Okay, my granddad was a civil engineer, engineer and had an engineering company, but I don't have one because it's, it's all a game, you know. But see, the farm, what I'm learning with you is the farm ain't no game. Like you said, like, when it rains, it's going to rain. There's nothing you can do about that, you know. Like, uh, if something happens to the watermelon, uh, they have, like, a, you know, you don't do the, the land right and the uh, mold and all that. Like, farming is something that, it's the engine, like the Minister Farrakhan said. And if you don't keep up your well, engine, it'll go bad. So well, like you know, the mold, the mold, let me explain something to you. The mold that's on the watermelon is not because we didn't do the land right. It's because we didn't spray it right. In other words, we're in a dilemma. Uh, and the dilemma is that the people say they want organic. But when they see a spot, they don't want it. Now, there's a way to, 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 to stop the spot. It's, it's to spray the chemicals. If you spray enough chemicals on the watermelon, then they won't have the spot. But people say they don't want me to spray. But then they complain when they see the mold or the other spot. So it's not because we don't know what we're doing. It's because we deal with crazy-ass people who are asking you, to not use chemicals, and then when they see a spot, they don't want the damn product. Okay. Um, Brother Shakir. Is Brother Shakir on? 